years ago, she married the man of her dreams. I love you more now than I did then. But does she really know him? Do you, baby? How much is she willing to understand? You know I do. Or forgive. I couldn't believe it. It's like it's like somebody else is doing it, and I'm watching, and I'm and I'm going crazy. This is insanity. I don't believe it. I think you're making this whole thing up. Can't run any longer. Finally, she must ask herself if the man she married is a man she knows. Me too. I got the key, Mom. Got the key. Daniel, don't pay! David Keith. I love you, Tony. I love you. And Kathy Moriarty go beyond the limits of love in <laughs> White of the Eye. Emilio Estevez. They told me that when I grew up, I could be whatever I wanted to be. And I believed it. Demi Moore. All across the country, people are living vicariously through us. We've given people hope. Lovers. Why do I love you so much? Beats the hell out of me. Me too. You want out? I want to be with you. John, maybe I didn't understand what you were trying to do at first, but I do now. Heroes. I think he's great. I think she's great too. I admire his commitment. He's helping the poor folks out. We have reports of bank customers clapping and cheering. What does that about me? It says that uh, you're a mindless goon who follows his every order, however ridiculous. Wisdom. Hi. Nice to meet you, sir. My brother guy. How are you? How are you doing? How are you? I'm gonna get in trouble. Five seconds, Wisdom. Pretty wild, huh? Pretty wild. You know, I never really envisioned myself as a cause man. But people needed help. Wisdom. Written and directed by Emilio Estevez. The enemy has very deceitfully taken advantage of the Tet ceasefire to launch an offensive all over the country. In Saigon, the United States Embassy has been overrun by suicide squads. Quezon is standing by to be overrun. We also have reports that a division of NVA has occupied all of the city of Hue south of the Perfume River. In strategic terms, Charlie's cut the country in half, the civilian press are about to wet their pants, and we've heard even Cronkite's gonna say the war is now unwinnable. Sir. Does this mean that Aunt Margaret's not coming? Whose side do you want, son? Our side, sir. Don't you love your country? Yes, sir. Then how about getting with the program? Why don't you jump on the team and come on in for the big win? Yes, sir. Son, all I've ever asked of my Marines is to obey my orders as they would the word of God. We are here to help the Vietnamese because inside every gook is an American trying to get out. It's a hardball world, son. We've got to keep our heads until this peace craze blows over. In the quiet town of Eastwick, where nothing ever changes, three beautiful women are about to discover powers they never dreamed they had. Who should we be looking for? He should be really handsome. Nice ass. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> I prefer small. Now, the man of their dreams is here. Jane. Last we meet. To stay for a spell. Who are you? Just your average horny little devil. With the witches of Eastwick. We could do things you haven't any idea. <laughs> you know what's going on up in that house? She says she sees the devil here in Eastwick. <laughs> If you were the devil, would you come to Eastwick? Oh, I don't know. 
Are you going to seduce me too? <laughs> so what do you think? Women. A mistake? Or did he do it to us on purpose? <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Cher. Susan Sarandon. Michelle Pfeiffer. The Witches of Eastwick. Hocus Pocus. Thank you.